At our most recent Board of Trustees meeting, the, the Board unanimously voted to approve the latest phase of our strategic plan. Uh, and the strategic plan involves a lot of exciting things. Uh, certainly one piece of that is the, the move on the part of the school to co-education for the high school in September of 2016. I think the decision to admit girls to Zavarian is a very sound decision, I mean, a very wise decision. Half the people at the, the finest colleges in the country and the best law schools and medical schools and professional schools are women. The people who are in the workforce are women. It really, to me, makes no sense to segregate boys and girls at the teenage years when they're going to be competing against one another and working together when they go forward in their lives. We're very proud of our tradition. It's what we're rooted in. But now is the next new chapter, and it makes a lot of sense at this time to allow boys and girls to grow together to become the men and women we need to build our country, our world, and our church. I'm excited about the school going co-ed. It's part of a well thought out plan by the uh, faculty and the board. We send men out prepared to compete and serve in the world. Let's send women out ready to compete and serve in the world as well. Sometimes I think we all forget that this place has had girls come to this school uh, for the past uh, decade and a half to two decades down in the Genesis program. So I'm very much looking forward to what that's going to mean when we get them up into the high school and we see how these, how these students are performing, not just here, but in comparison to the rest of the city. Well, I think it's an exciting time. I've got a 14-year-old daughter, so I think it's wonderful that we're going to have girls at Severian High School. I think it's going to enrich the total experience. It's a new time. It's time to branch out. I think it's going to be wonderful for the school. The biggest thing that I'm excited about for the girls in the building is the fact that they're going to get to continue on this journey that they've been through, especially with some of the programs that are being offered here that aren't offered elsewhere. Throughout its history, Severian has adapted to the times. As the father of three daughters, I'm thrilled that we are now opening up the high school and offering girls the same opportunities that have been offered to boys for, for over 50 years. I think it's one of those things that, especially as an alum, when, it, when you first hear it, it's kind of like, really, is that, you know, that's happening? But then you take a step back, and I think the question then becomes, why not? And what took so long? I know Severin will go through a culture change, but most, most importantly, it'll allow my sister to experience the Severin family and the environment that me and my brother already have the opportunity to. Genesis, most of the kids are already thriving in what they're doing, and I know that Stefano is thriving in Severian, so I would be excited to come here for an opportunity to dive even more. There's still a lot of young people out there who need the benefits of an education that Severian can provide. To be able to offer it to the young women who are currently in our Genesis program, I think is, is excellent. I've been here for almost 10 years now, and I feel like I'm part of the Brotherhood. In that sense, the Brotherhood isn't necessarily gender specific, it's a community that I feel is truly special about Severian. If I could say anything about this place is that we are so close-knit and that's what makes us great. I think it's nice to have the girls be able to have the opportunity to be part of such an amazing school. It's not about gender, it's about giving the opportunity to all students.